hello friends so in this lecture we will see the components of hadoop okay so uh, that or we can say the architecture of the hadoop so we have seen that how the hadoop cluster look like we have the racks and the corresponding community hardwares these racks are interconnected uh, okay so uh, you we know two terms okay one is hdfs that is hadoop distributed file system sorry okay and the another one is map reduce so there are various components under it so the first component under the hadoop distributed file system is name node okay the another one is secondary node and we have the data node okay and in the map reduce we have job tracker and we have the task tracker as we have studied that in hdfs what the hdfs does it it is responsible for storing the file in your distributed file system while in case of map reduce it is responsible for processing the data stored in distributed file system we have already seen that this hadoop file system is uh, or uh, hadoop is a master slave model so master is someone who is giving the orders and slave is one who is performing the activity so these components are divided into master slave so let's if we talk about master so we have name node and secondary node as master okay we have data node similarly here so the data node is slave okay job tracker is master and task tracker is slave so this is the main or we can say all over of the hadoop file system so we all we will be talking in hadoop will be related to these five terms name node secondary node data node and job tracker and task tracker let's come back to our hadoop architecture so these are our computers this is computer 1 this is computer 2 okay so we say in every computer or in every system we have one data node and one task node okay so what i mean is we have one data node plus one task node sorry one task tracker okay so everywhere we have data node task tracker so in every computer a data node data node is responsible for storing of the data in this computer and task tracker is a job you can say a cpu or which is responsible for performing this activity uh, suppose there is data stored on this computer so task tracker is responsible for processing that data on that computer so similarly every computer which is saved on this cluster has one task node and one task tracker if we talk about overall hadoop okay uh, just a second yeah 
and we have one name node and one job tracker also we have a just a second guys we have a secondary node okay so uh, we have seen that our hadoop works in master slave model so if when any activity is there master will tell the slave so who are slave okay where actually the real data is being stored real data is being stored on these computers okay so these have a slave so data node will store the location and task tracker will perform that location so similarly there are multiple data nodes and multiple task tracker so these are all slaves let me light here these are all slaves and there is a name node and job tracker name node manages all the data nodes okay it is data node manages all data node or name node and job tracker manages all task tracker so name node is the master it is a master for all the name nodes and job tracker is a master for all the task tracker so if this hadoop if this is a client if this are a client and he needs to perform any task so he will contact to whom it will contact it will contact the name node okay name node will decide okay how he want to store the data suppose he identified some machine where data needs to be stored so he name node is a master then what it will do it will communicate this cluster of racks and it will tell correspondingly okay on this machine let's say this is machine one he says okay data node of machine one please store this data so this data node will comes into actual picture it is a slave it will be the real one who will be performing the activity okay and it will storing the data here similarly for job tracker if a client wants some processing needs to be done what it will do it will communicate to data job tracker okay it will say the hey job tracker i need to perform this task job tracker would say okay he do some calculation uh, and he says okay the data is located here we will be studying how this actually work i am just giving a rough idea how the data nodes and what are the activities of job tracker the real stuff how the data will be manipulated we will be studying in later sections okay so the job tracker what will do he needs to process the task so he suppose if he identifies that your data is located on this machine and somewhere this machine so he will contact corresponding task tracker of both these machine and will ask them to perform some activity okay so name node communicates with the data node name node is a master who order the data node to perform the activity similarly the job tracker is a master who asks the task tracker to perform the activity this name node and the data node is responsible for saving of data or moving of data in hadoop file system so we call them as hdfs while case of this job tracker and task tracker are responsible for parallel processing and processing of the data so they come under map reduce okay now there is also one term secondary node so what this actually is this name node is storing all the location okay it has all the information what data is stored on which machine okay 
so as it is a master master usually saves all the information so it has all the information in the hadoop cluster where the data is stored but what if in some case this crashes you must have studied uh, in the previous section uh, we have taught that this name node and job tracker need to be reliable hardware okay uh, we are showing this name node and job tracker different but actually what it is this name node and job tracker they are also a computer okay it is also a computer like this which is present let's say there is a computer present like this here which is serving as a master and this name node and job tracker present in it this is the actual but in but for the sake of pre presentation i'm showing them different but actually this name node and job tracker are also a computer which is present here okay and it needs to be highly reliable because we don't want this machine to be crashed these are community hardwares that are cheap computers but this is not a cheap it is a really good computer a reliable computer which we don't need to break down okay so all the information where the data is saved uh, on which data node is handled by name node but what if this crashes so what we do normally after r this name node sends all its data to secondary node okay set data no secondary node usually uh, filter them sort them and save a copy of it in it itself okay and response back to data node so this activity is performing every r so in future also let's say if this data node crashes we have all our information present on data node on this secondary node sorry so that's why we are say that hadoop is really a secure platform okay uh, also uh, one thing is that if something is crashed you can retrieve it from the secondary node also hadoop works is that there is some data so data needs to be stored so client talks to name node hey name node hey hadoop Uh, HDFS file system. I need to store this data. So one important thing in Hadoop is that it, it makes a copy. Let's say it stored that copy here. It will store some copy here, and it will also store a copy here. So for every copy it has, for every data it maintains three copies. You see, this is happening for all the data. So if in the future if some computer crashes we can still retrieve the data so that's why we say the hadoop system is very reliable in case of crashes anything crashes you have a backup which is available and you will find your data so that is really the hadoop overall architecture let's go once again we have hadoop distributed file system in which we have name node secondary node which acts as a master okay this one we have data nodes which acts as a slave which is present on every computer and which is really performing the activity of saving the data on each computer map reduce in which this is the job tracker which acts as a master and the task tracker which is present on each and every community hardware and it is working as a slave okay secondary node maintains the copy of all the data which is present on name node and for each file hadoop actually makes three copies of it so that in case of there is a crash hadoop file system is very reliable okay and the data is not lost so that is all over the architecture of hadoop um in let's sections let's discuss how the actual actual data is being saved on this okay thank you